everyone welcome back to the youtube channel rpa space and this is dinagran and today in this video we are going to see a simple exercise using power automate and if you are new to the channel please uh, do check out our channel which does contain a lot of videos on ui path and blue prism including power automate on the upcoming series right so today what we are going to see is like how to extract the data from excel using power automate so in case if you are wondering how the same thing can happen in ui path and blue prism i have a separate video launched previously to this can you can uh, check out our video from the channel probably i can give the cards and paste the links in the descriptions as well right so uh, like what exactly need for you to extract the data from uh, excel sheet using power automate so there are very few basic steps which is required which is actually self explanatory as well right so you need a launch excel actions which is there in uh, power automate action panel and next to that you need a read data from excel worksheet which is also a sub sub actions which is available under excel and then followed by that uh, you will be able to see a additional uh, variable which is default uh, created within power automate itself as excel uh, data but you could uh, go ahead and uh, edit the variable as per your naming convention but you will get by default excel data as a table and once you extract the data using this read data table read data from excel worksheet you can close the excel because it cannot be left alone or left open so that like it may end up in a data loss or something which is actually best practice when you launch an excel it's better to close it right so uh, those are the steps required and actions also more or less similar so it's a self explanatory launch excel read data from excel worksheet and then close excel is the three actions you need it from um, power automate to, ex to extract the data from excel right without getting delay we'll jump back to the power automate and see how the same thing can happen in a practical session right so this is like uh, i've created a flow in power automate uh, just a templated flow and it does not have anything right now so in case if you're wondering how to create a flow i've already posted a video you can check out how to basically create a uh, create a new flow and then get in and the same thing get executed or added into the work steps right now in the main flow i just wanted to achieve like extracting the data so i've just typed excel as a here and you will be able to find launch excel and it will ask you an option whether you want to open it as a blank document of course we are not because we our intention is to read a data from an excel which is already pre-built right so just choose an option open the following document which will prompt you to choose a path you can either create a new variable and pass the path or you can just simply hard code it for testing so what i what i do is like i just simply pick one of the excel file which is placed on my desktop and uh, it will ask you whether you want to make the instance visible if s yes, then it will be available in your screen you can be able to see if you say no then it will be running on the background so for now i will give s yes. and you can see that one action has been placed over here so either you can just edit it or you have a couple of options you can explore and at the end of this actions you will be able to see by default an excel instance variable is created which is linked to this action and this will be used for us upcoming steps now we have opened the excel now we want to read the data from excel actually so for that you just type read and under excel you will be able to find read from excel worksheet probably i've mentioned in my steps as read data with just for our understanding so as soon as you drag drop it by default the excel instance will pick the instance which is already created which is kind of an intelligent way of picking the instance but if you would have created manually or with a different name it will not be so that you had to pick it from the drop down right so it will ask you how do you want to retrieve the value if you want to retrieve a single value then you have to mention start row and uh, uh, column for that but our intention is to retrieve all the values from worksheet so i've just picked that selection from on the drop down and uh, in advanced selections if you want to make anything you can go ahead and explore it so for example get cell content as a text or something which is there if you if you just click on the information icon it will specify where and what need to be done on that right so at the end by default as i said excel data is the variable which is created which is of a type table and it will give you a data from excel whatever is like uh, available in your excel sheet so you have to click save so now we have launched the excel we have read the excel and it does contain the excel data variable which is already created and post that what i just wanted to do is like i want to close this excel so that like it won't lift uh, like 
unassisted. When you close an Excel, you will be able to see the instance again it picked by default because it was the default one created by the uh, flow itself. And uh, you have one more option before closing Excel. Do you want to save or you don't want to save? If you want to save, then it will just click save. If you want to save as it will have an option to enter on what name you want to save and where you want to save. But for me, I'm just reading out. So I don't want to save anything. So I've just given save like just like that. So what we are exactly doing is we are just opening Excel, reading a data from Excel and then closing it. Now we'll run act, just click save. So as soon as you click save, this is power out my desktop. So it might uh, take uh, the response based on your uh, system speed. So I just don't want to run. I just want to run step by step so that like I could see exactly what is happening in this uh, action, right? So as soon as I ran first step, it will uh, open the Excel, which is available. So you can see it in the, in the taskbar. There is a new Excel, which is got open and it will be, it is waiting for an next action to run. I've just gave run next. And as soon as I gave run next, you will be able to see the value getting populated in Excel data, which is 56 rows and 11 columns, which is available in your Excel. You just have to go here and view the data if you want. And uh, like, that's how the data is visible for you during runtime for a uh, like validation purpose. And as soon as you click uh, close uh, Excel actions to run, you can see that uh, taskbar, which does not have any Excel and it has been closed the way it is open, but still, until you reset or something, your value is available in your local variable, which is like Excel data, which does contain 56 rows and 11 columns. And this is how you can be able to read or retrieve a data from Excel using PowerPoint. It's one small steps, which I just want to share with you. Probably in upcoming session, you will be able to see how to retrieve your columns, how to retrieve a specific row or how to delete a value or how to write a value to the Excel sheets. So those kind of things will be in the upcoming sessions. And thanks for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe to our, our channel, which is RPA Space, for more RPA related videos. And uh, in case if you have any questions, please do comment and uh, uh, let me know so that like I could address in the upcoming session. And thanks for watching. Thank you.